Do not listen to this recording while driving or if you are operating machinery. Only listen when you can safely relax and are able to get as comfortable as possible. Hello, my name is Robert Aceves, and I welcome you to this mindfulness meditation, Shower of Love. Today's meditation comes from the heart, and will be a version of the practice of loving kindness and self-love. And the most beautiful way I know to start a practice of love is to simply feel the intention of love for yourself. Experience this love in its full capacity, and experience the heart awakened to love. We'll begin with creating maximum receptivity and openness of the spirit, beginning with the physical body at a cellular level. And as always, I'm going to ask you to put yourself in a comfortable place. You can sit or lie down where nobody's going to interrupt you for several minutes and close your eyes. All right, now take a deep breath in and exhale. Take another deep breath in and exhale. And feel your breath as it enters and leaves your body. I'm going to ask you to imagine the size of the sky. Really imagine the size of the space in the sky. Feeling the space that extends in all directions and feeling the curve and the spirit of a giant smile filling up the sky. And as much as possible, visualize this smile in the sky and then feel that openness from the heaven filling your mind. And that curve of a smile spreading through your mind. Connecting with openness, availability, possibility, and letting the curve of a smile spread across your eyes. You can feel the corners of your eyes lifted a little. The outer corners. As your body relaxes more and more. Softening your eyes. Allowing your eyebrows to be happy. in your jaw. Feeling a slight smile on your mouth. And see if you can feel the inside of your mouth smiling. Your eyes are smiling. Your mouth is smiling. You can feel your throat 
and feel your throat as you inhale and exhale and feel that same curve and opening of a smile right there again. And now imagine that you can smile at the heart, feeling the curve, and a smile spreading across the area of your heart and your chest, feeling how a smile is gently born from the inside out. A natural smile that appears in space, which doesn't disturb what is happening in your body at the moment, but appears in this area of your body and smiles at you. Your eyes smile. And your mouth smiles, your throat smiles, and your heart also smiles. And see if you can loosen your belly and feel how your deep breath is received throughout your whole body. And imagine and feel that same smile spreading across your body, through your abdomen, and two inches below your belly button. Feeling how your body opens to love and deep relaxation through your hips, and your arms, and your legs. Your whole body relaxes from head to toes. Feeling the space and how your body expands in an effortless way that can allow Anything that is emotionally tense or tense in your physical body to loosen up a bit more. Resting with a natural receptivity and relaxed attention. And the shower of love begins in these moments with the feeling that you are alive while you experience life today. And we'll pay attention to any problem or situation that is bothering you. Anything that you think you need and require attention in your life that causes you a kind of painful reaction or suffering. This may be where you take this meditation today. And you can take a few moments and just feel what naturally comes to your consciousness. Perhaps some difficult situation. 
or the spirit might contract and the self might not like it or one might feel trapped by fear somewhere where you could be trapped in some sense of pain, anger, hurt whatever you feel that needs attention in your life and this shower of love can heal this part of your life. This could be a situation in your life that involves another person, conflict, it could be a situation at your work, it could have something to do with your health, and as you allow yourself to decide on something that you would like to work on, you could let the situation be the center of your attention. And so this is an invitation to let your attention be there, to heal that area of your life in the shower of love. Let the chains break. If it is another person involved, you can see the other person's face or hear the conversation or the words that were said and heal through love. If it's something that you're anticipating is going to happen, you can allow yourself to see that in your mind. In other words, as if you were projecting a movie of this story in your mind, and a stop at the image that bothers you the most, the one that disturbs you or causes you the most reaction. And when you get there, freeze the image. And love will begin to shower that image. And sometimes just recognizing that it's there and that it affects us is enough and that this is part of your life experience at this moment. In other words, honestly acknowledge the present, acknowledge that this is part of your life 
and see if this pause in this moment can be part of simply allowing it to be there. A willingness not to try to get rid of anything or change anything at this moment. Or rather, accept the present as is. The beginning of the shower of love is just recognizing and accepting to be with what you are. Let something be as is. great Buddhist teacher named Ajahn Sumedho put it this way, when these circumstances arise, when we sense what's triggered, we can just say, it's like this, it's like this, that's the beginning of a healing presence. So for now, just acknowledge and allow what's there to be there. And then, with the quality of interest and kindness, you begin to investigate. Could you first really feel what bothered you? What is going on inside of you right now? Is it? Perhaps you're experiencing an emotion of anger, fear, or pain. Or perhaps you have a whirlwind of thoughts about the situation. Just see how you feel as you investigate what's inside you, if it helps to have your hand on your heart as a way to remind yourself in this investigation with kindness and love. You can explore that. And I'll give you some suggestions on how you could do more research. But feel free to follow the path that seems best to you. For some people, from the very beginning, just feeling what they feel is enough. Others wonder, what am I believing in? What am I believing in? When this is happening to me, am I thinking that this means that I am a bad person? Am I believing that I am failing? Am I believing that my life will never turn out the way I want it to be? Am I believing that someone else doesn't really care about me? Or is it that I'm believing that I'm basically broken? Am I believing that I am unlovable?
These are just a few fundamental beliefs that are usually there. And perhaps doing this meditation will not change these beliefs. Only when we want something to change, can it change. And sometimes by seeing it, one can go directly to the body and feel, how does this live in my body? This belief. And when do I believe this? What is the inside of my body like? And just scan. Feel your throat, your chest, your stomach. Those are the most common areas where you can feel your experience. Do you think you'll never be different? Do you think you will always be like this? Do you think that you'll never be happy? And how is that in your body? Now, feel what is the worst part of this. What are you really afraid of? Let yourself feel that feeling of the worst. Sometimes letting your face express your feelings puts you more in touch. If you feel angry or sad or disgusted or whatever, just let your face express it. Aversion, longing, and then it comes back and it feels again more fully in your body. Can you feel where is the most reactive part of you? Where is the strongest reactive feeling living in your body? Can you feel where that is? And see if it's possible to directly enter the part of you that is most reactive the most hurt, angry, scared, and look at the world through those eyes. And take the shape of that part of you and feel it from the inside out and feel what do you want most in this part of you? What does this part need the most? Sometimes this part will say it in words. And if there are words, you may hear them multiple times. Or perhaps it could be an image, which also makes sense. Now, there's also the possibility of widening your attention again, to be larger than that part. So that you occupy all the space you can imagine. 
And now you can listen and feel from the highest and most awakened part of your own being to this part that is suffering. Listen, what does this part need the most? Is it possible to recognize that this part is suffering in a very pure way? What is this suffering? And can you offer in some way what this part of you needs the most right now? For some, it can change and soften the way it feels a bit. Make sure that what you feel in your own heart are tender and light. And you could be touching your cheek or your stomach, communicating through what you feel when touching yourself. What are the words or the touch or the message, the image, the best meet the needs of this part of you. What would be more healing and liberating for you? Some of the most classic words are, I worry about this suffering I am sorry, and I love you. I forgive you. An experiment by seeing what can be offered through touch, through words, through images. And if it is difficult to feel offering from your higher self to this part what is needed, imagine that behind and around you is the mind of your awakened heart or some being in whom you really trust. It can be your mother or grandmother, your father, a child, but a pure, wise, compassionate being. And to feel what that being could offer you, could express to this place in you that could heal it from inside out. And you can get the message. Don't break your heart anymore. Every time you judge yourself, you break your heart. So you're going to move away from the love that is the source of your vitality. And so now the time has come, your time to live and trust the goodness that you are. Your true essence is pure consciousness, vitality, love. Let no one, no idea or ideal obscure this truth. If one comes, forgive him for not knowing. Let yourself be carried away by the shower of love and breathe in the goodness that you are. Mm. Exploring what it means to truly offer 
the loving presence to life within yourself. You can imagine it as a hug, as if you were holding a child, a bath of light and warmth. Whatever connects you with that feeling of appreciating this life right here. As you feel this loving, life-sustaining presence within you, you can explore or investigate who am I at this moment when love sustains this life. And now rest. The shower of love is natural consciousness. The heart of meditation practice is love. And the heart of goodness is love for the life we are living right now. And there is a natural openness that develops when we open our hearts in that way. And so, we'll continue to explore that openness by inviting to remember someone in your life that you care about. Someone that perhaps is going through a difficult time. And this would be a beautiful opportunity to bring this healing energy and awareness to someone that you care about. And in the same way that you had a negative situation in your life, perhaps this person, you can help them to simply acknowledge and allow to simply feel the circumstances of this person's life. things that are causing difficulties and simply acknowledge that it's happening. Acknowledge it and allow it. Then, this is what is true for this person. This is how it is. And you're letting it be. And in this space of letting be, you can begin to bring that person closer to your consciousness and imagine that person sitting in front of you. And so you can feel their presence and feel what is really happening more closely to them. And you start investigation kindly, that if you could look at the world through this person's eyes, feel with this person's body and heart, what would be the worst part of what this time is for him or her? With what fear or doubt is this person living? Pain pain from the inside out, just to feel how it could be. Sometimes, in kindness practice, we use our breath to help with that. So you may inhale, and feel that you allow yourself to be touched, and touched by this suffering from this person. And you can touch their loneliness, their fear, doubt, pain, and with each exhalation, you're allowing that pain and that suffering to remain in the vastness of the loving presence. And so, it is not a me that has it now, you're allowing them to touch you, to be truly touched, and you're allowing them 
to remain in what is really the space of consciousness. And as you breathe for this person and touch their suffering, feel what this person needs most, what is most needed at the core of their suffering. What is the understanding or experience for them? Perhaps it is to be loved, to be seen, to feel embraced. What is it? And so you continue to breathe for this person. Feel this person in your heart and feel what you could offer to this person in terms of wisdom, love, which is it that is most needed and give this person that. and expanding even further to feel what you are breathing for all beings who are fighting or struggling in their lives. For yourself and everyone around you and all beings everywhere that you're inhaling all the negativity and suffering and letting yourself be touched by the truth of suffering and you're exhaling and feeling that this suffering is held in an unlimited presence, an infinite space of love. Relaxing your body and your mind, feeling your breath as you inhale and exhale, and observing if any ideas or concepts come to mind, and simply feeling that you can blend into that vastness, the space that surrounds you, space of compassionate presence, space of love, and the essence of your own heart. Rest in this, and in these moments of silence, and let whatever arises be touched with the heart of goodness, and the heart of love. And of all the teachings, I found that there is a place in your heart where everything is found. You can go there if you want to meet yourself, your mind, your senses, your soul, eternity. Everything is there. Are you there? Get into the heart of it all, the source of it all, and surrender to the whole with total abandon. The silent ecstasy is there, and a real and constant feeling of resting in a perfect place. Once you know the way, the nature of attention will call you back again and again.
showing you that you belong to the whole. You're in your house there. And feel that beautiful sensation of this shower of love and kindness. And stay like that for several minutes. Enjoy this moment. for your time, and I'll talk to you soon.